Hi there, everybody. Uh, today we are going to talk about HomeSnap. And I have to tell you that in my experience in real estate, and, and it's had a, I've been working at this for a couple of weeks now, um, there are a lot of programs out there that are available to you. But I want to talk to you a little bit about this one. And again, it's going to be a free member benefit. So, so let's take a look. We'll get uh, through our slide presentation here pretty quick. I want to make sure you all can see what I'm doing. Uh, and I apologize to you that I'm not able to, to uh, do this live. I'm actually at 40,000 feet right now. And they uh, keep telling me to turn off my uh, video camera. So uh, um, anyway, needless to say, uh, we are at the Greater San Diego Association of Realtors. There's my name. There's my telephone number. You're more than welcome to call me if there's anything I can do to help. Uh, and then there's my email address. And the email address will become important to you later. And I'll publish it on the last slide when we get to that point. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to set my timer because I have this really bad habit of going over. Uh, and so in this case, I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> okay, all right. So um, I've only got an hour to tell you about this product, and most of that is going to be on the setup of side of things. Um, and, and I'm kind of excited about it because, you know, I really, it's really come a long way since it first came out. And, and I have to thank the San Diego Association of Realtors for making it available to us as a member benefit, okay? And not, not the cheapy version, but the actual pro version, okay? All right, so there's my email address. We're gonna to talk today about HomeSnap, uh, and about the product itself, and I'm gonna teach you how to get to it, how to fill out some of your criteria, some of the things that it does, and, and it's just gonna be, it's one of those things, again, where they give me an hour to do my talk, but it's really gonna be a, a two-hour topic. So, um, so let's, we'll move quickly, but uh, please feel free, um, if you have any questions, please send those to me. Uh, you can send them to me by email. I'm happy to help you in any way that I can, okay? So um, we're gonna be talking about a couple of things that are gonna sound like legal stuff. And as you know, you've heard me say this a thousand times, I don't give legal advice, not interested. Um, I make more money than most attorneys that I know, uh, and I kinda like to keep it that way. So um, that's kind of the deal. Uh, for those of you who have gone to law school, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't be here today. So, uh, okay, that being said, um, I do, I'm not a practicing attorney. I have a law degree, big deal. Graduated first in my class, got the American Jurisprudence Award in real estate transactions, and, and that's as far as it went. I just knew I wasn't going to practice my last semester. So, I finished off what I needed to do and then I went back to work. So, you know, this was really good for me. So anyway, I do, I am a practitioner like you. I do have 41 years of, of experience in real estate and that's kind of a full-time thing. Um, and so uh, hopefully I, I, again, I can use that uh, skill set that I've developed to help you. I do a lot of trial work, mostly in defense of real estate agents. Um, I am considered a, a court certified expert on standard of care, uh, market conditions in San Diego, agent duties of inspection and disclosure, things like that. Uh, and I love going to court. I'm going to tell you, there's no money in it for either one of us. So, you know, I get paid really well for going there, but it's a lot of stress. And I'm not even the one on trial. I'm just the one that's the expert. So, so supposedly, okay. So, um, you know, this conversation is not intended to be a substitute for the advice of your broker. You've heard that before. Listen, you hired your broker. We need you to listen to your broker. We need you to go to your broker to get guidance and supervision and the other things that the Department of Real Estate requires. Um, now I'm not here to, to uh, take that place. And I'm also not a substitute for your attorney. Uh, there may be situations where you need to talk to, to the attorney and, and, and the savvy real estate agent knows when that time is. So um, again, if I can help you with any of that, let me know. Um, we have uh, on, our, on our risk management committee at the San Diego Association of Realtors, probably 26 of the brightest real estate attorneys I know. Um, and I say that, and I'm a qualified uh, you know, opinion on that. Uh, they're, they're very good. I mean, some of them are exceptional. Um, and uh, I'm not going to name names because I'm obviously going to forget somebody and that'll, that'll never go well. So there's my email address. That is the best way to get a hold of me. Um, if you want to be on my weekly newsletter, I send out a, week, a newsletter every Saturday. And in that newsletter, 
you know, I, I, I include the, the links that you can just click on in the newsletter and it takes you straight to the webinar that we're doing uh, because I want you to be able to get there without too much fanfare and have to go through too many hoops. And, you know, how many times do you want to click on things before you get to where you want to go? So this makes it easy. Uh, I won't put you on the list unless you ask for it. So send me an email, kevin at burkerealestateconsultants.com. Uh, and I'm more than happy to help you, as I said, in any way that I can. So enough of all the propaganda. Let's launch into the uh, topic matter itself. Um, as I've said to you before, um, whoops, I managed to stop the whole thing. Okay, so that's not going to work well. All right, back to my shared screen. Uh, and where is my, there I am. Okay, so uh, on my shared screen, I'm going to go to uh, the San Diego Association of Realtors uh, website. And, and I can tell you that, you know, I, I got to give credit to the association because they created what we refer to as single sign-on. Um, but I'm going to take that credit away when I say that we're guilty of the same thing that I see so many times in our industry. And that is where we create all these really great products. And then we're so proud of ourselves for creating them that we go on, we move on to go create another really cool product. We forget to tell everybody about what we just did. Uh, and so, and that's kind of why I feel like I'm here today. I am on this website every single day. I spend almost the, my biggest complaint is I get timed out. Okay. So, you know, I'm just on it all the time. It's single sign on. I can get anywhere I need to go. Um, you know, this isn't going to be a, a session about how, you know, how great the website is, but I'm going to tell you on this page, on this homepage, it's got, you know, yours truly over there. It's got all kinds of stuff in here that are going to be very useful for you and your business. San Diego County stats of the week. Yeah, uh, you can, you, you know, we've just got a ton of stuff, okay? That Realtors app, that is really cool. Um, you can look up property, you can do all kinds of great stuff. Over here on the left tells me when my license is gonna expire. I think I'm at that point now where I've got free renewals because I've just been doing this for just way too long. Probably should have been sent out to pasture a long time ago, but uh, here I am still at it. Um, there's, here's my committees, you know, we don't even need to know about any of that kind of, that's just a lot of time. Okay. So here's Paragon. So I go, I click on Paragon. I go to the MLS. I've got zip forms plus CRS data. These are all single sign on things. I don't need to be entering in any more usernames and passwords. RPR, you got to be using it. It's a good product. Okay. So I used it today in a, in a seminar that I was doing. So, um, then as I scroll down a little bit further, I see some of the other good stuff that we have. And I got to tell you, some of this stuff's pretty cool. So we have home snap and home snap for you. is not the basic home snap, you know, where they're trying to upsell you for everything. You know, this is the SDAR, the association of realtors has come along and given you this product. It's the pro version. So it's not the basic version version. It's the pro version. Now, if you want to add to it, everybody's always got something else they're trying to sell you. But if you want to add to it, I'll show you how to do that. Um, it's not incredibly expensive if you're using the product and you like what it does. And I'll show you the differences between what it does in the version that you get for free. And that's because of your membership with the San Diego Association of Realtors and SDMLS. So that the programs talk to each other. Home Snap is pretty cool. I got Flash CMA, I got Lion Desk, Glide. You need to be using Glide, right? So CAR stopped midstream when they were creating, you know, the ability to electronically sign documents. And part of the reason was because they knew that they were going to be selling it off to uh, NAR. Um, they weren't anticipating NAR then selling it off to Lone Wolf. But, you know, at the end of the day, Glide came along and said, listen, we'll create, we'll, we'll create some of your forms so that you can go ahead and have them electronically signed. And by the way, that's, you know, your risk management forms, right? Some of your risk management forms, you know, are not available in zip forms for electronic signature. So like your SPQA, your seller property questionnaire addendum, you can get those signed in Glide. So SDER sprung for the big bucks, got that program for you. And, and uh, I know personally, I was, uh, uh, I made a great relationship relationship with Sebastian Tonkin, who was the guy, one of the co-founders of the program. And, and uh, uh, I can tell you, it's a great little program. We use it in, in our uh, in our brokerage as well. So that being said, I don't want to spend any more time. There's a lot of really cool stuff in there. There's Rancho Ted. Love Rancho Ted. Um, I'm the only guy in the world that can spell his last name. Um, and he's, well, other than him. 
uh, and he's a super guy. I really like him. So, uh, so let's go to home snap. So let's talk about the topic matter that we're going to be discussing today. So once again, I did go to the San Diego website and I logged in and now I'm going to click on home snap and you can see I've already been here. Got a couple of things going on up top, but I want to start it over this way. I just want to click on that link for you and I want to pull up the home snap website. So this is the main website. Um, and like everything else, you know, everybody's doing video nowadays. Okay. So you can do a lot with this program, but this is the pro version, not the basic version, but then it's not the pro plus version. And I, I don't think you need really the pro plus. I think this is going to do everything that, that you're going to want. It's free. It's a member benefit. I mean, it's not free. I mean, obviously it's included in your, in your, in the dues that you're paying the association and not everybody has this. So pretty nifty little program. It works across Across the country. It's not just something that works only in San Diego. Um, it depends. You can be, you know, we're, we're brokers in several states. Um, we actually have access, you know, uh, to the product based on multiple MLSs. So, you know, we've always got, we've got something for everybody as we say, okay? So that being said, I want to go take you through a little bit of this. Let's take a look at a couple of things. Uh, I think I'm going to sign off on a few of these pages. Yes, I am. There she is again. So let's let's focus on this and let's take a look at what is available to you. Okay. So again, if I click on Home Snap Pro, that's going to take me back. That's like hitting refresh the page. It takes me back. In this case, it's going to take me to the find your next home. Now here's a secret. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. You really need to be doing your setup on the website here and then go to your phone and have and your phone will synchronize when you log in when you go to the app store or whatever if you're using apple or you're using uh, banana or peaches whatever um or you're using android you know you're going to download from the, in the play store whatever you're going to download the um the app um, again i'm going to tell you to do it here first then do it there. Uh, you're going to find all your data and everything will be there. And for some of us, it's actually easier to read when we're looking at the big screen. <laughs> Sometimes, I don't know. I don't know how Linda does it, but she's got this, this phone. I mean, it's not a small phone, right? It's a Galaxy S9 or something. It's a Note uh, phone. It's a Note phone. Um, and I don't know how she sees stuff on it, but she does all kinds of amazing things. And it just kind of cracks me up because, you know, I watch her working on it and sometimes she gets frustrated because some things don't work on the phone, but they work great on the internet. So I sent her a document the other day that had, um, you know, I'd highlighted some, you know, in red, some things that, you know, needed, needed to be corrected. And she, uh, um, she got it, uh, she got it on her phone, but she says, how come you didn't correct anything? And I said, I did, I highlighted everything. Here it is. I showed her my computer and there it was highlighted. So just be aware, as I said to you before, if something isn't working, please don't think it's you. A lot of times it's the program. So in this case, the email to her computer showed the highlights, but the email to her phone did not. So don't assume it's something wrong with what you're doing. Assume that maybe there's a computer glitch or something like that. I don't know. I've got, I'm running a gig of internet and yet it seems that from time to time my, my connection's fairly slow. So I, you know, I just wait for it to happen. So again, if I click on home snap, it's going to refresh my page for me uh, and it's going to snap back and forth between the, the various uh, pages that are available. Let's take a look across the top and I do have some fun stuff to show you. So we've got the news button. I want you to click on the news button. And again, there's nothing in here that you can break. Okay. So I want you to experiment with it, play with it, have a good time. There's a lot going on in here. Home snap news, you know, uh, get more quality leads. I mean, they're going to teach you how to generate your own leads, not just how to, you know, uh, buy leads. Um, and again, they have online marketing programs. Um, uh, concierge is included with your subscription. But if I want to know more about it, I click on read more, it opens up another window. Then I've got all this stuff in here. Okay. So essentially it's a blog. Okay, it's got a lot of pretty good stuff. Like I said, you, you know, you can spend, you know, spend your lifetime with all this stuff. I don't want you to get really, really good at technology because if you get really, really good at technology, you might forget what you're in this business for. You're in this business for people. You're in this business for communication. You're not necessarily in business to become an expert on teaching home snap, for example. Okay, if it doesn't work for you, move on to something else. Um, so um, we have a listing in our office. I'm the co-listing agent on it, just helping out the agent. Uh, and uh, we went under contract today. Boom, there it is. It shows the listing went under contract, $749,000, you know, two bedrooms, two bath. 
I can go, uh, I can look at, you know, some of the pictures that were taken of it. And this is going to be in my news feed because this is something in our office that went out today. Okay. And so, you know, we have two other properties that we've sold and those will show up tomorrow. So in the meantime, we have several preferred zip codes and I'm going to show you how to establish preferred zip codes. So the program is going to grab zip codes where we're doing business. And it just so happens we, this one happened to be a 92109. I mean, you all know I live in Del Mar. I'm in 92014. And so, you know, 92014, of course, is going to be a preferred zip code for me. And then the other one, of course, here's 92109. And we're going to see some others pop up as we go along. So, you know, what's going on in my neighborhood in, in San Diego, Carmel Valley. So it tells me about new listings in that area as well. So essentially what they're doing is they're making it so you don't have to keep law logging in and out of your of your MLS to determine what's going on if you just need a snapshot of property as you're as you're uh, you know uh, you know perusing your telephone okay that's the nice part about it preferred zip code 92014 uh, and here is Porta Del Delgada which is you know on the east side east side of uh, five Del Mar um, for a buck nine. Okay. So this tells me, you know, here's my, here's the agent. If I want to know more about the agent or about the property, I can click on it. Let's say I go ahead and I click on her information there. Um, and now I want, you know, here's uh, Shannon O'Brien. There's her DRE number. There's the company that she's with. Um, and I might already be connected with her. Now, I don't know, you know, if, if I am, I don't really know her. Um, I hate to say that because then somebody says, wait a minute, I met you at such and such a place. So, but anyway, you know, that's how I would find out, you know, what my connections might be with uh, Shannon O'Brien, if there are any. Okay. All right. And then, uh, you know, here's the uh, her deal flow in the last 24 months tells me she's a, a big listing agent. She's doing more than twice as many listing sides of things than she is doing buyer sides of things. But boy, when she's doing buyer sides of things, she's killing it, right? She's doing three, $3 million average sales price on the buyer side. Okay, I'll take that number. Good, good work, Shannon. Um, and then, but on the listing side, maybe I'm going to make more money by doing more smaller deals. I just, you know, but every once in a while, if I score a big one, it's good. Okay. All right. So I can send her a private message from this screen. Uh, and, and again, I don't want to spend too much time on this because, you know, there's so much to tell you about. Here's her phone number. There's her email address. Folks, please stop using free email. There's her office address, 1299 Prospect. We all know that building. Um, and then here we are. We're going to try to sell you HomeSnap Pro Plus. So they have, you know, again, we're not going to sell it to you. It's not SDAR doing it. It's going to be HomeSnap Pro hoping to get you to upgrade. Um, I'm not sure, you know, I'll, I'll tell you some of the things that it does. Um, but, you know, I'm not sure that, you know, you got to determine, use this program for a while, see if you really like it, and then decide if you want to flip uh, over and get the, the bigger version of things, okay? All right, so um, uh, here are my detached properties, my condos, my townhouses. Here's recent listing sides on things. Um, and again, this is everybody's material. Uh, and, uh, and then here's recent, you know, buyer sides, you know, we didn't represent this. So, you know, these are other people's uh, properties as well. Okay. So like I said earlier, the good news is this program works across the country, but anyway, that's Shannon. So I want to get, uh, um, get away from Shannon. Let's go news again, uh, pick up where I left off. That's kind of a neat feature of it is I can pick it up where I left off. Here's a property on Cordoba Cove. You know, in fact, this is uh, next door to a house I sold on Cordoba Cove many years ago. Of course, the sales price at that time was $450,000. Isn't it amazing how prices keep going up? Um, here's one on Diamond, and this, you get the general idea. And then we've got a newspaper article, you know, an article on, on things as well. So, uh, um, you know, a lot going on there. But again, you can spend some time on this, um, and it just gives you an update on what's going on in your neighborhood, and then I can close out that and, and go back up. Uh, I can get the big page picture, so to speak. Here are my preferred zip codes. So, you know, I happen to have a listing uh, on 92060 up in Palomar Mountain, but let's say I don't like that as a preferred zip code. I might want to add a different one. So let's add uh, 92130. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about Carmel Valley. So I've already got the maximum number. Maybe I want to remove Palomar Mountain. Well, I'm not probably not going to do that right now because I actually do have a listing up there that uh, should go into uh, pending tomorrow. So uh, 
but this is again the bigger page to look at you know if i don't like to look at that that skinny little page that looked like it was created for uh, the phone um, and that's what this is where i'm going to go okay everybody good with that let's take a look at my messages section so you can see that you know i'm not really incredibly active on home snap i really didn't realize the benefit the things that it provided until you know i was asked you know to research this for some time and i've been looking at it and and going through it and you can see i missed out on a couple of emails some of them were were emails that would have been pretty important, but uh, you know, people assumed that I was on the program and probably should have been at that time. So here's some emails that I did not respond to. So uh, there's nothing, nothing really uh, surprising about me not responding to an email. Um, better about email, by the way, than I am about telephone. So you know, while I'm sitting here doing this presentation, my telephone is rung about three, four times. I see voicemails. You know, and, and just hopefully I'll get around to it. So everybody, good. Now I have a website for pro agents. I'm going to click on that. That. It tells me about a lot of different features that are available for me, um, you know, as a, as a pro agent. Um, again, you're, you're paying, you know, your dues is, is covering all this. We're not, there's no charge for it. I can look up other agents. So uh, let's look up, uh, let's look up uh, Shannon. I'm just going to pick on her for the moment. I'm going to look up Shannon. I'm going to click go and it's going to look for, you know, if there are any Shannons that are on this program. Okay. So for example, could be John Shannon, John Shannon, a wonderful uh, member of our association, very active in the education committee as well as others. Um, and it would it would look that up for you, okay? So, um, and of course, then it doesn't find anybody, which is kind of surprising because you know that there's a Shannon in there, right? So let's go back a little bit and let's take a look at some of the other features. So here's a list of agent only features, um, and I kind of like this. Um, this is going to talk to you about advertising a listing. Uh, you can try concierge. Uh, you can get high quality leads supposedly for top agents. Look at all this. They're going to, they're going to get you, you know, get you, you're going to, you're going to be rich in no time, right? So uh, see your rank, do stuff like that. Watch the video. Hey, it's free to watch it. Why don't you take a look at it? So uh, I don't know about $833 a month. Um, that's pretty expensive. But, um, uh, you know, what? I don't know, you know, it's like we used to tell people when cell phones were first out and they were, you know, a lot of money for a cell phone. Uh, and people would say, you know, if you just did one more deal because of having the cell phone and if I heard that one more time, you know, I was going to have a real meltdown. But, uh, you know, so it depends. Sometimes this works for you. Sometimes it doesn't. So estimated monthly income, 8.3 hot leads, 167 total. You know, what other features do I have? So here's my order. I can get all of this for, you know, a thousand dollars a month. Um, and of course, if you're going to do it in an aggregate, they'll give you a discount. Everybody does that, right? So place my order. So, you know, you decide if that's something that's going to be beneficial to you. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to take a look at some other features in here. So uh, let me just double check. I always like to double check to make sure that uh, we're looking at the same screen. Um, so here, um, what was I going to show you? That's that's going to be my um, news feed page. So I'm back to my pro agents. And then again, I have all of these features that are available. Farming my zip codes. So pick a zip code. You know, we all should have a geographical farm and we should also have a, a uh, sphere of influence farm. So my geographical farm, obviously I want to have that somewhere near where I am or where I can visit daily. Um, in order to generate more business. So I'm gonna use this tool to, to uh, you know, farm that area. I click on the link, um, you know, like in, in my housing area, it makes no sense to door knock because nobody's home, right? So, you know, less than a third of the homes that are there are occupied. So you're literally, and the rest of them are, are dinks, right? Dual income, no kids. So, you know, it's always hard to get somebody at home. So here's the Facebook video ads that they will do for you, okay, as part of your, as part of your deal, all right? And so, you know, again, you can uh, look all this stuff up, but this is how you're gonna find it. You're gonna pick your design. You're gonna decide how it's gonna go. Um, we sell properties in all price ranges. We don't care, we're not particular. Um, and so, uh, you know, we use, uh, just use pretty much any program you can. This is gonna be the important part. I'm gonna show you in a minute because I want you to know how to set up your, your program. Okay, so um, learning more, they can send you emails, there's campaigns, there's, uh, you know, pay for clicks, there's all kinds of stuff. Okay, everybody good with that? Um, if you want a Facebook video ad subscription, $420 a month. I mean, I look at some of the stuff and I think, wow, it's just kind of pricey and I might not need all that, but I do want to take a look at it. Okay, I want to know, you know, it's available. They're going to be really good about taking your charge card information. 
Um, and, uh, you know, of course, once you give that, you know, you've given it up, you're, you're done, you'll be paying for it for life. So, um, okay, so I'm going to take me back to my homepage again. I'm going to uh, close that one. I'm going to go back to my news feed. Um, what is my dashboard? So I'm going to review my campaign performance metrics. So let's take a look, see what that looks like. Um, and I'm going to minimize that window. Um, they're just going to put it in the big picture here. So recently there's Shannon that we recently viewed. I have a bunch of agents that are working there. Um, and, uh, and again, here's the bigger picture. So again, my dashboard, which was the whole point behind what we were doing here, um, is, and I think they're, they're having an issue between, you know, are you on mobile? I'm on a, on a Surface Pro 6. So sometimes it thinks it's a, a, a tablet. Sometimes it thinks it's a computer. So I get, you know, variations on a theme when I'm looking at stuff. So welcome back, get caught up with your ad performance or start a new campaign. And again, these are things that uh, I think, uh, you know, they're worth your time. Um, uh, investing in it with at least your time. Um, if we take a look on a preview of an ad, again, we can see, you know, what kind of what the ad might look like, what it's going to cost. Um, and and uh, you should be doing social marketing anyway. I know, Robert, you're on this today and, and uh, you're, you're the king of social networking. So, uh, you know, there's some people that are really good out there that I listen to when they're doing things and I watch what they're doing to determine what I need to be doing. So here's an ad that they created specifically for a property that I have on Crestline. Uh, it's actually John Cooper's property if you've seen it before. Um, and so there's all kinds of stuff that you can do with that. And it may not be costing as much as you think it is. Um, although some of the numbers we've looked at already today have been fairly pricey, but $39, I think I can handle that. You know, it's worth a shot, right? So, um, you know, I, I haven't done anything on Waze, so I can't really tell you, you know, how that's going to go. But then once again, here's my pricing and all of that. So let's see, I'll speed this up a little bit because we do have a lot to do today. Um, see how it works in 60 seconds. Play with it. You can't break it. Just keep, you know, stay focused. Okay, so stay on the product. Take a look at it. Let me go. I'm going to go back again to my uh, um, page, uh, my pro agents page. Um, and uh, that's going to take me right back to the same place I was. So I'm going to click on pro agents. Uh, and I want that to be the bigger version. So let me uh, scroll down. Um, let's talk about inviting clients. Now, this is something I do want to talk about, and I feel kind of strongly about this. Um, and that is I can invite clients one at a time, which is the way I want to do it. So like I could literally put in an email, I can, I can do, uh, you know, Linda, you know, cause you know, Linda's my favorite uh, at Burke Real Estate Consultants and then uh, .com. And so I can go ahead and send her an invite, you know, to share, you know, my link with her um, and, and then they'll keep track of our interaction now. Um, so if you know Linda, you know, the minute she gets an email from me, she's going to delete it anyway. But, uh, you know, that's always the fun of, of uh, reaching out to Linda, God love her. So uh, anyway, I can invite people one at a time. I prefer that versus you using the program to invite a whole bunch of people at once. And that's the other way that you can do it. Um, I don't like that necessarily because it goes into your computer and pulls up all your contacts. And, and so I, I kind of think that might be like a virus. Um, and so I have problems with that. Okay. So uh, uh, that was the, the original reason when it first came out that I, I didn't use it. Um, but today I'm very pleased with uh, you know, what we've got going on here. Okay. So home snap pro university. I think this is a cool place. You can learn all kinds of stuff uh, here at this part of the, of the website where, um, and, and you have several ways to get to it. And one of the ways is just to click on the link up here, um, you know, get rid of this part of the screen, um, but click on Home, uh, Home Snap University. They've got some really good trainings. Um, of course, this is going to keep bouncing around again because it thinks that, it's, uh, that it might be a, a phone or a tablet. So I'm going to click on the university again. <clears throat> he says with confidence. And so here I get, I've got my live trainings, I've got tutorials, I've got recorded webinars. I actually watched a lot of these and I thought they were pretty good. Um, so you might wanna spend a little bit of time on that, but I do wanna talk about some of the things that are available for you up here at the top as well. So, um, you, know, you know, click on your state for your next live training and then they have the instructors and all that. Um, and 
pretty basic stuff. You know, I think anybody can understand it. I think it's it's good to you know learn something new every day, right? But again, if this isn't making money for you, then I don't know why you would do it. So um, up here, I can click on my uh, safety timer. I really like that feature, and I've seen we had someone talk at the pitch session who had created a a safety timer for. Um, an app uh, for realtor safety, you know, folks, it just, it, it just really distresses me to no end to, to hear about real estate agents being you know, assaulted in open houses. And, and, you know, we had one we found in the trunk of her car in San Diego uh, some time ago, it was a couple of years ago now, but, you know, it's pretty distressing for me in, in that, you know, we can, there are a lot of things that we can do to be safe. And one of them is to travel in pairs. And so I, I made this comment uh, uh, earlier yesterday, in a meeting that I was in where they were talking about a woman who had been assaulted at a uh, open house in Virginia um, and, you know, alone at the house, you know, in our office, that's against our policy. In our office, you must have someone with you. So, you know, but this here, here's a way not, not to be a substitute for that, but here is a way to set a safety timer or send a distress alert. And this is something that is included um, in your program. So you can click on watch tutorial. It'll pop up a window that, uh, let me just double check, make sure that you're able to actually see it. Um, yes, you can. So, so um, it'll eventually pop up a tutorial. I love it. Don't you love technology? Now you can so, stay safe. Yeah, there it goes. It started talking just as I was getting rid of it. So, or activate your profile to get started. Okay. But essentially you're going to, you're going to, um, you know, if, you, if you've got a house, you're going to go look at once you're within 2000 feet, you can set a safety timer. Uh, and it says, you know, that's the house I was at, you know, come get me or, um, you know, or, or, uh, you know, this is the, now police know where your last whereabouts were. So you can set how long you said, I just think this is a wonderful little program. And I've seen people try it before and try to create things. And those companies seem to have come and gone. I think home snaps going to be around for a little bit longer. So I'm kind of confident with that. So I can show the listing. I can stop the timer. I can add time. Um, you know, I always tell you, you know, please do not show show up at the property. First time you meet the client shouldn't be at a, at a property. Okay. And, and I've had personal experience with, you know, my, my business partner who was going to go show a property. Uh, and, uh, and it was, you know, it was all the classic stuff. It was getting dark. It was uh, on a cul-de-sac, quiet neighborhood um, in Solana beach. Right. And so, you know, an individual that was going to meet, you know, this is back before we had cell phones. Um, and so I insisted that I was going to go along. So I went and picked her up and took her to the appointment. And, and so, you know, there's a rather interesting individual that met us at the property and I just didn't feel good about it. You know, I, I wouldn't let her go in. Um, I let him go in, wander around. It was vacant, of course. Right. And so, you know, all the bad signals were going on here. Um, and, you know, ultimately we chatted with the guy, of course, the first words out of his mouth when I got out of the car was, who's this guy? Uh, you know, that's usually an indication that you weren't really expecting to have somebody else big, you know, show up, you know, uh, and of course, you know, my business partner was much, much smaller than I am. And, and so this wouldn't have been a fair fight. There's no doubt about that. You know, obviously I would have won. Uh, no, I, I, she would not have won. So it wouldn't have been a good thing. So I'm always concerned about our safety folks. And, and you know what, this individual showed up, you know, the sheriff's department sent over a fax the next day that we got that intercepted it said that this guy was being, uh, he was wanted for a, a murder. Um, and so they were pretty sure he was the guy. Uh, and here's his picture. And I'm looking at the picture and I'm going, I just can't even believe this. And so con obviously I contacted the sheriff's department, said we had an interaction with the individual last evening. And they said, well, you're lucky you went because she would be dead. So, you know, those are personal things for me. And, and I tell you that story only because, you know, it's, 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 you know, it's important for you that you be safe. It's important for me that you be safe. Okay. So that's kind of how this works. You can issue uh, instant distresses. Download the app. It doesn't cost you anything. You you own it, right? You you got it. But again, I'm going to ask you, please, you know, coordinate on the on the website version of it before you do anything on on this. Okay. So that's going to be my safety timer, and then I've got brokers and teams. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm saving that out of the best for last when we get up there, we talk about me kind of thing. Um, but you know, here are my, uh, you know, uh, trial products, watching videos, you know, doing things like that. You know, there's some pretty good interactive things in here. Um, you know, retain your agents and press your clients, do all that kind of stuff. So there's always something out there that, that they're going to be trying to get you to look at. So, uh, um, 
branded digital marketing. I think that's kind of important. Um, and uh, uh, your ads right from your phone, which I just think is the coolest thing that somebody finally thought of that about doing that. And so uh, it's good to have that uh, good uh, get best in class results, whatever that means. Um, book the demo, you know, that, you know, not going to cost you anything to look at it. Um, and then you can evaluate the performance of your listings and things like that. What are your leads doing? You know, how many calls are you getting on the property? That kind of stuff. As I showed you earlier, there was activity on my account, even though I hadn't been using my account. So, you know, that's kind of a good thing that it actually kept track of that activity long after, you know, I ever, you know, went to look at it. So that would be, <coughs> excuse me, that would be good information to have. Okay. All right. So here are some people that are active in our market. Uh, and then, you know, again, it's they're trying to be your one stop shop for all this. So, you know, I encourage you to take advantage of it, spend some time on it. Uh, don't lose track of it. Um, let's go back up. I want to get you into the me section because it's all about me. Uh, when I say it's all about me, it's not about me, me. It's about you. OK, so so let's take a look at that. Um, I know that over here I still have my get quality leads open. This is something I was looking at earlier in the blog. Um, again, I think you should spend a little time on that. Um, so here we're going to go back to the home page. Um, and this is kind of uh, uh, important. And I'm going to tell you, we're going to talk about me. But in the meantime, I want to hover over MLS, which kind of cracked me up that it, uh, when I did that, it says Santa Cord. So some of you will remember that there used to be an MLS service in San Diego County for many years called Santa Cord. Um, and it's just funny that that still references it when I hover over the link. So I've already asked them to fix it um, because, you know, it's not something that, you know, that doesn't exist anymore. So let's click on me. So I want you all to do this. And, it, and it's something that um, obviously you can do on your own time, but, but I'm going to take you through some of it. Um, again, I'm hitting the highlights of the program. We could spend days on this. There's so much stuff in here, um, but I want to hit this uh, and we'll round out the hour with the, with the, um, the stuff about creating your file file, creating your profile, what other people see on you, things like that. Um, so let's get started. I want to go to my home snap. I'm going to click on that. I clicked on the me button up here. And then the first thing I've got is the option to go to my home snap. So I want to take a look and see what that looks like. That again is going to be the bigger picture of things. And then as I said, this thing thinks I'm on a, on a uh, phone uh, rather than on a computer. Um, so uh, let's take a look at what that looks like. So um, here's my name that comes right out of the multiple listing service. There's my phone number. There's my email address. So people can actually click on it to call me. People can click on it to send me an email. Um, you'll see a picture here that I'm very proud of. This picture was taken um, uh, of me uh, when I was president of the association. Uh, you know, I look at it and I swear the eyes follow me, right? Uh, I'm just kidding with you. But uh, Circle of Excellence, I was very proud of that. And and, uh, the tux doesn't look bad either. So um, anyway, that's available to me. But here's the thing. I want to be able to go to, uh, I want to edit my photo. So I'm going to click here on edit photo. It's going to pop up my photo. It's going to say, choose your picture. Uh, and it'll give me an opportunity to um, pull one up. So let's do that. Let's put pull up a photo really fast. And I'm going to show you why, how this can be fun. Um, I'm going to click on uh, Kevin Cropped. Uh, and that happens to bring in the same picture, but here's the, here's the news. I can move this around. I'm supposed to be able to move this around. Of course, now it's not working, but um, I can rotate it. Um, I can do all this kind of crazy stuff. I can, I can condense it you know, so that, you know, there's not that much in there, but that's what I'm going to do. And then I can go ahead and hit save, or I could hit, you know, get me another picture. I don't like that one, but frankly, I like that picture. So, you know, I, I use that in my marketing, um, I think because it shows a lot of class. Now, what about uh, editing my profile? This is the part where you're going to have some fun. So a lot of the data that's in here was already loaded by the association for you. So here's your name. You can't change it. You're going to have to talk to HomeSnap to be able to do that. Um, here's your brokerage. Can't change it. You know, you see mine's all clumped together because we had so many letters in our, uh, so many characters essentially in our brokerage name that they had to put it all together to try to make it fit. And it worked. Um, email address, that I can change. Um, I, I use the email address that's consistent with our website, cell phone. You're going to find that if you have any special characters in there, it's not, not going to like it. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to keep that uh, information there. 
uh, as it is. Uh, I don't know why I'm looking to see if anybody else is here. Um, but then I also, so I can update it. I also have privacy settings that I can click on. So, you know, I want people to see this. I'm not a secret agent, so I'm not going to operate in private mode. I'm going to, you know, I want my name out there. So I'm going to be doing public, not private. Okay. Um, so changing to public will not expose your historical views, you know, that kind of stuff. So uh, good. I'm going to save that information. And then what else am I going to do on this page? So this is going to tell me what my listings look like. And as you know, I'm a non-competing broker. I don't compete with my agents. So I don't take listings except maybe if they ask me to. So, you know, here's, uh, you know, Ashley has this listing um, uh, down on Mission Boulevard. I use this example a lot of times in the in a CMA class and classes that I teach. She went under contract today. Congratulations, Ashley. Uh, went under contract today. So that one's, uh, you know, looking pretty good. Got a fine young agent that we're working with on the other end. Um, and that's uh, so far a good looking uh, transaction. And then you can see, uh, here's one I've got. It's really 69,000. They put it in at 70. Uh, I don't know, 220 square feet. That's a one car garage, isn't it? Um, so anyway, you know, we don't make any references as to whether it's permitted or what. We're going to let the buyer figure that out. Um, and uh, and then you see a whole bunch of properties that we have sold. So those are good things to know. Those are good things to have. At least I can keep track of what my people are doing. Um, and then in the meantime, I want to look over here. I've got my favorites, if there are any. So I would have had to have saved those. I can invite clients. So there are no clients matching the criteria. But again, here I go. I can go ahead and type in the email address and, and invite a client to be looking at my stuff, okay? So that's what, what that is. And then I can look at my recently viewed. Uh, it'll pull up what we've looked at recently. This is a house. I'm pretty sure I used to own this house. Um, it's on the corner of Portofino and uh, um, Cordoba Cove, I think. Um, and I owned it quite some time ago. Uh, I, you know, you always wonder, you know, wow, I should have kept the house. It's worth a million dollars today. And, and the answer is, uh, nah, I don't know, you know, I sold it for twice what I paid for it. <laughs> so, um, you know, I paid 450, I think, and, uh, you know, it had the old barking dog and, and, uh, you know, people would just be scared to go in the house. So I just went ahead and bought it. Um, and, uh, anyway, that's how that works. So that's a property I looked at. I was just curious. Um, in the meantime, I got some other stuff going on on this page. Um, I can uh, I can look at my um, uh, public profile. So this is what the public sees when they're looking, um, and that's going to be kind of important, right? So how how often do you get you know put a mirror in front of your face to see what everybody's looking at? Um, and and so you know this is one of those opportunities. They can ask me questions. They can do you know all kinds of stuff. I really kind of like that feature. I think it's pretty cool. Um, over here, they're trying to sell you stuff. They're trying to upgrade you to Pro Plus. Um, surprisingly, Pro Plus is not that expensive. So, you know, when I look at improving my profile with Pro Plus, you know, so look at what it is. It's $599 a year, right? Um, gives you all this really cool stuff. But because of COVID-19, they're going to give you a $500 discount. Now, where are you going to get that kind of a discount? It was $599 a year. They're going to knock off $500. Bucks. Now you're going to get it for $99, okay? Pay for it annually. It's $99 a year. Pay for it monthly. It's going to cost you more money than, than you know, your car. Okay, so, uh, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't think that's a bad deal. I think you might want to think about that. Uh, and, and if you're interested in it, go ahead and place your order. I'm sure it'll give you a time period that you can, you know, experiment with it, play around with it. But I do think you should test things and see, you know, what it is, you know, what you like to be doing. So let me go back to my uh, the deal here. I want to take a look now at my agent only profile. So this is going to be the profile that agents who are looking around see of me. So they'll have access to me. They'll be able to see things about me. Um, I can click on who's viewed my profile, but I'm going to tell you it's a fairly waste, a fairly big waste of time because this again is going to be one of those things that they're trying to sell you the upgrade to Pro Plus. Again, I don't think you necessarily need it. I really don't care who's looking at me. Um, you know, I'm just I got over that when I got out of high school. Um, you know, I just don't care. <laughs> you know, if they want to look at me, let them look at me. Um, if I want to unlock it, then you know, if I want to unlock it, unlock who's viewed. I click on the link, and guess what? Here you got the five ninety nine a year minus the five hundred dollar discount. It's ninety nine dollars. So you now I get all this stuff that you know, uh, you know, again trying to lead me into buying a different program. So uh, agent from all these places, you know. Uh, 
I don't care. Like I said, you know, I'm just not big into, you know, how I look, but I guess you all pretty much know that anyway. So, okay. So that being said, let me take you now. I want to take you over here to um, recently viewed. Uh, and so this is going to show you the property again, a different way of getting to the same place. These are properties that I recently viewed. What about people? Um, no recently viewed people, even though you and I both know, I looked at Shannon and I, I apologize to Shannon. I've forgotten her last name. Was it O'Brien? Um, and then what agents, okay, there she is. Yeah, I was right, O'Brien, look at that. Okay, with the Gmail address. Okay, so, you know, now I can see, you know, Michael Sterling, super, uh, super guy, uh, you know, good professor, uh, good agent with us, doing a good job. Um, if I want to go backwards, I can take myself back to this again, um, because I do want to look at the rest of these. I want to take a look at what do my listings look like. Um, and there's my listing. Like I said, it's really Ashley's listing. Um, I'm just the co-listing agent on it, so I'm available in case she isn't. Uh, and then there's Joe Kazora. Joe owns 1219 East Barham Drive. <laughs> he just owns the whole community. I love Joe, right? This guy's been a broker since 1971. He's a super man. He really is. Ex-Marine, you know, Vietnam, the whole thing. I, you know, we have heroes in life, folks. He's one of them. Okay. He's just a super man. Um, and then uh, this is a listing I had on Wintergreen. It was a short sale. Uh, and then uh, the rest of that, here's some properties that we had up in... Uh, um, up in Palomar Mountain. So we were doing a lot of business up in Palomar Mountain. Okay, that being said, back again takes me back to my windows. So favorites, you know, I don't really have any favorites. I didn't, I never established any in there. Uh, how about save searches? You're not going to find any of those, but that's why, you know, that's what would be available. And then I want to look at my office to see what my office is looking like. And so when I do that, I'm going to get this information. And again, that's going to be important because I need to know if I need to be editing anything is if there's anything that I don't want to have that, that shows up on the public, right? So like, if I don't want to have my Gmail or my AOL address, or if any of you are still using prodigy.net, you know, that kind of thing, no offense, but you know, I'd probably, you know, get into something a little more current. Um, uh, then, then we've got our payment methods. Um, so if you want to be able to pay for things, you can, of course, enter your charge card, put all your charge card information in there, and then uh, pretty much, uh, you know, you can buy anything you want, um, except a car. Uh, what about my manage my MLS uh, identities? And, and by the way, folks, if you're a member of more than one MLS, this might work for you. So, you know, we have data share in San Diego and, and you know, the San Diego Association of Realtors shares data with other MLSs and other MLSs share data with San Diego. I don't really know a reason. I mean, we do a significant number of transactions in San Francisco. We do transactions in, in uh, the, the Valley area up north. You know, we do LA, we, we, we're all around. Um, so, you know, we at times have to join an MLS in order to uh, do business there. Um, but we have found that most any time we put anything into San Diego MLS, we can list it, we can list it right here in San Diego, put in the zip code where the property is, so it will be coming out of the area for somebody else and they always find it. So, you know, I just think that you've got a lot of advantages but what happens if I want to um, add another MLS? Uh, if I'm connecting my account, I've already claimed it, obviously. Um, and let's go back and click. Let's uh, add another MLS. So you can see we're members of other MLSs. So we're members in other states um, for MLSs. We can look them up, you know, to see which ones, you know, we, we would want to have. Uh, and so obviously the point is that you're able to save multiple MLSs in your computer. So if you are a member of another uh, MLS, like in San Francisco, you can have that one in there at the same time. Now, here's the good news. The program works so well that as you're driving around town, and I'm going to show you my phone in a second, you know, it's pretty much almost identical to the page that you're looking at here. And so, you know, you're going around, you know, RPR tried this, and, and I think HomeSnap had a, has a better picture of what's going on, no pun intended, but, um, um, you know, you're actually able to, you know, you get within a certain proximity of a property and there it pops up on your phone and tells you all about the property. You know, I don't know if you're worried about privacy or anything, but that's pretty amazing. Okay. All right. So um, let's take a look at what do I want my notifications to look like? Um, and this is something I can turn on, turn off right now. I'm okay with it. Um, but if it gets crazy, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change some of the settings. So um, here's Pro Plus. I don't really have it. Um, I don't have a Google profile up there. I, we do have a Google profile, but I don't have it on HomeSnap. Um, and then I can always opt out of things, which just says essentially turn everything off. Okay, so those are things that you could do if you wanted to do that.
uh, and that would round out the notifications. Now, I'm going to tell you, help and feedback is pretty cool. Um, you go to help and feedback, and, and you can type in questions. That's one thing that you can do. But then you've also got a section that is reserved just for you, for the real estate professional, okay? So, you know, then they have, you know, you can contact them. You can submit a request. They're pretty responsive. You can follow them, you know, do things like that. But let's take a look at four real estate professionals. I think you really should take a look at that. It's going to give you a lot of ideas of things that you can be doing. Um, it talks about, you know, oh, here's some pro, home pro uh, questions. Here's home snap stories. Um, I'm going to show you in a minute how it came up with the name home snap. You're going to like it. So Google ads, listings on home snap, home snap basics. I'd say if you're brand new to this program, um, I would skip basics. I would go into pro. Um, because again, you have that as a member benefit by being with San Diego Association of Realtors. So I would go in here and I would look at some of these things. You already know about the safety timer. You already know kind of what Home Pro does. Um, but uh, you know, where is it available? Well, it's available to you. You're getting it. How do you set up your account? Good little tutorial. You should be taking a look at that. Here, here's this going to set you through step-by-step -step instructions on some of the stuff that I already showed you. It's also going to show you how to get it from your phone, how to do all these things. Okay, so you know these are things that you're going to want to be doing to update your account uh, and uh, obviously update your MLS because it talks to your MLS. So that's kind of good news, right? You you want a program that actually is live in your MLS, and I can tell you that is a problem that uh, that uh, eat. Uh, um, uh, NAR RPR was having was getting the program to work. I'd be traveling around, but you know, if you're, if you're in your service area, so if you're in the area of SDMLS, then it'll pull your listings up for you, pull up the active listings as well. But when you head outside of that area, you might not be able to get active listings unless you're also a member of that multiple listing service. Okay. So how do you set up your account? Uh, and then I'm going to go back to professionals and I'm just going to take a look down here. Anything else exciting in here? Do I have to be a member of the MLS to get it? No, you don't, but it helps because uh, it's nice because then, like I said, you get the active listings. How do I change my brokerage name? You don't. You stay put. Uh, <laughs> I tell people that, you know, it's like, make sure it's not you, right? Make sure it's, you know, you're thinking it's the company. Maybe it's not the company. Maybe it's you. So um, Waze, I'm really impressed with that. I mean, I like, uh, you know, the concept of having my ad on, uh, you know, on uh, somebody's drive time, you know, right? When they're not supposed to be looking at their phone anyway. But, uh, you know, it's good. Um, and they have a whole bunch of, you know, so like how do, how do teams and brokers identify listings to promote, you know, things like that. So, Again, a lot of step-by-step -step stuff. They give you really good 800 numbers. Um, you can call these people and and uh, and get really good feedback on all of this. So uh, uh, let me see. Is there anything else in here I wanted to show you? Again, go to the blog. You need to be looking at the blog. Um, and then uh, where were we? Notification. Uh, and then uh, we talked about help and feedback. And, and so I think, again, that help and feedback is a good thing. To, you know, Of all the programs that have help and feedback, this one's actually pretty good. Um, so um, you need Pro Plus in order to point your domain name uh, to the Home Pro Plus real estate website. Oh, Snap. I was going to tell you about Snap. So let me show you um, uh, what's going on. Do you, you see that other question on there? You all see my home is not for sale. Why is it on Home Snap? You know, how many times you had somebody call you up and say, you know, take my home off the Internet. You know, I, I bought it a year ago. I don't want to still advertise. You know, we don't have any control over that. Right. You know, we don't have any control. The 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 uh, vendor that we have sold the listing to is the one that's going to have control. So uh, here's my telephone. Okay. Uh, so you can see, um, and I'm going to go to uh, home snap. I'm going to type in the search thing here. I'm going to type H O M and then it's going to pull up home snap. Um, Cause I've already downloaded it, right? I went to play store and I, and I pulled up the app. So, you know, why don't we take a look at that? Cause that's kind of a big deal. I want to make sure you get the right one. So I'm going to go into Google play cause I'm on an Android and I'm going to click on uh, Home Snap there. By the way, you can see that there I was looking at the uh, Real Tours, Mike. I was looking at Real Tours, um, which is the caravan app that uh, we all created at SDAR. That you know, so I can go look at properties that are on caravan and stuff. So let me type in Home Snap, H O M E, uh, and then and then an S, and then uh, let's see, no, it didn't load it automatically yet. Uh, so here's Home Snap real estate and rentals. You see that the top button? I'm going to click on that and it's going to pull up my link for me. Okay. All right. So it says uh, open it. Well, yeah, because I've already got it open. So let's go ahead and click on open. Uh, and then it's essentially going to pull up the program, you know, 
uh, and it's going to, uh, unfortunately, it's going to tell you where I am at the minute. So um, it has a camera feature over here on the, <laughs> on the top part, portion there, a camera feature, so that that's, the, that's where home snap came from, okay? So it's kind of, you know, I think it's pretty funny. So I can literally go up in front of a house and I can click on the camera and it'll take a picture. Uh, do you want to allow it? Yeah, take pictures. And so it'll take a picture of the house for me, okay? So uh, I can frame the shot. I can do all kinds of stuff. Um, and I just think that's a neat little tool, but that's where the name HomeSnap came from. So it's got all kinds of nice stuff in there. I'm going to tell you that, again, remember, get your profile done on this first. Get it done on your computer first. And we've done everything. So it's not going to be something that's going to take you 20 years. You don't need five degrees to do it, okay? So, you know, you obviously want to look at your uh, profile. You want to look to see what that looks like. Um, and uh, in my case, uh, you know, I like that picture, as I said earlier, um, and there it is. And so, um, you know, you want your profile to look good. There's not a lot to do in there. It's easy, okay? Would you promise me to take some time to do that? They have another little feature I like called Edit Wallpaper. It's the last thing I'll show you other than, you know, here on my phone, this is what the app looks like. Um, and, and most of it you see mirrors what you're seeing on the computer. So I'm suggesting to you that it might be easier for you to configure it on the computer uh, and and uh, before you go to your phone, but you got to remember to go to your phone. So configure it on your computer first, uh, and then uh, go to your telephone. And, and uh, you know, we, I used to call it telephone um, uh, to get it to uh, to work on your phone. So in the meantime, edit wallpaper. So I don't know if you can see it in the background, but I've got a little. You know, how much snow do we get in San Diego? Right, zero. Okay, so edit wallpaper. I can click on that. So that's going to be my background shot, which by the way, I see, but so does my client. So I could use Red Rock Country here, you know, Sedona, Arizona. Um, I was looking for a beach theme. There wasn't one. Um, <clears throat> there is a nice uh, uh, lake effect. This is a nice picture, but I essentially opted for the little cabin in the snow. And I just thought that was kind of a neat little picture. And that's what I grab. So they're going to give you a couple little things you can work with, and that's what I did. Um, and that's, uh, <coughs> excuse me, goodness gracious. So um, yeah, that, that pretty much, you know, I'd ask you if you had any questions, but you're not there. Um, but if I can help you with any of this, please let me know. Again, as a free member benefit, you're not getting the basic, you're getting the pro version. Uh, and I think you should be taking advantage of that. So again, how did I get there? I'm going to go to the SDAR website, I'm going to log in, and then I'm going to scroll down here to right underneath Fast Stats, another great program that we use. I've done two presentations on that today and I click on Home Snap Pro and it's going to take me into um, where my account is, okay? So that being said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Uh, I'm going to make sure it loads first just to make sure I'm still here. Um, and again, lots of really good uh, um, information on this page. Um, you know, text me the link for, you know, property on your phone, you know, hey, go for it. You know, you can carry this stuff around. We're all doing that now. Uh, and then again, you get free leads from qualified prospects, power your digital marketing with Homestead Pro Pro ads, uh, and then introducing Pro Plus. So, uh, you know, essentially a bunch of things that people were asking for that they figured that, they, you know, it's going to cost them some revenue in, in uh, updating the program. So claim your profile, get that done right away. That needs to be something you do today. Okay, and then they have uh, obviously productivity tools for you, all kinds of really cool stuff. Schedule your showings, works with showing time. Um, you can do your CMA right from your phone uh, and, uh, and, and on and on and on. You can search for properties, you can do all kinds of stuff. So uh, I think you should be using this. Again, it is a free tool. Um, take advantage of it while you can uh, and uh, let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Uh, in the course of your business, okay? So I'll pull up my uh, PowerPoint again. I'm gonna pull up my uh, email address. There's my email address. Uh, and I'm gonna have it go to the current slide. If there's anything I can help you with, please let me know. Send me an email, that's the easiest way to get a hold of me. Um, I responded today to about 40 emails, um, got packages off to people that wanted uh, information on the, you know, we did the webinar this morning on how to do counter offers, mobile counter offers and backup offers. Uh, and uh, it was, I thought it went really, really well. There was a lot of people that wanted copies of the stuff. Next week, Wednesday, we're gonna be doing new forms. So 
be aware that uh, the, the new forms, um, I am not seeing them populate in the templates just yet or in the forms library just yet, but uh, I don't know what's going on with that. I'll find out and I'll let you know. So thank you all for being here today. I very much appreciate the value of your time. And again, if there's anything I can do for you, please let me know and please everybody be safe out there. Take care for now.